Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about adding videos to PowerPoint. I also want to share with you some ideas to inspire you to be more creative with PowerPoint. The videos that you incorporate into your PowerPoints are going to be different to mine, but the concept's going to be the same. At certain times during the playing of the video, I want animations to appear to explain what's happening on the screen. To import a video, click on Insert on the menu, and then you'll find a video section. Uh, find the directory you want on the computer, and the video will appear on the screen. Uh, to format it, you can change the color, the size, the shape, the rotation. You can also add 3D effects to the video. Anything that you would do with a normal picture or an auto shape uh, in PowerPoint, you can also do with a video. And that's why there's two menus, a video format and a playback. Playback is for uh, being specific about this, um, how you want the video to play, um, how long you want it to be. Um, and the format is the shape, the style, the colour and the rotation of the video. So once you're happy with where it is on screen and what it looks like, you now want to play and animate it. If you go on the animation section, uh, you'll find all sorts of animations, um, including pause, stop and play. Um, any of those animations that you click on will automatically be assigned to the video and then if you click on animation pane you'll be able to see that video um, ready for you to uh, make adjustments to if you want to. So anything that you can animate uh, in terms of pictures and auto shapes you can also do with videos. The next thing is adding bookmarks and um, to do that you use the playback menu um, you, on the play button menu you can do lots of things, you can make the video loop until stopped, um, you can change the volume, um, you can trim the end of it and the start of it or any part of it off, um, but if you add a bookmark um, it will also automatically be assigned to the section of the video that you're already on. So best thing to do is click play and then at certain times add a bookmark which will appear as a small circle on the scroll bar which represents where that bookmark is. Now what we want to do now is be more advanced with our um, bookmarks and add some animations which will occur at that specific time. So what you can see me doing now is with our sample video um, I'm just creating an auto shape of an arrow and I'm now I'm going to add some text to it and what I'm going to do is make this arrow and text appear um, at certain times during the video to explain how this swimmer um, is, is performing his stroke. Um, used to be a swimming teacher, so this is something that um, came um, instinctively to me, um, although I'm not so good at it anymore. So at certain times you click pause during the video, then you go on playback and click add bookmark that will be assigned at that specific time during the video. Um, so before I continue, I'm going to add another section. Um, I'm going to duplicate the one that I've already got and just change the text. Um, so another teaching point would be pull to hip um, and click play and put a bookmark at that specific time when uh, the swimmer is next to that arrow. Now, um, with those animations, I want to um, change the way it works. First of all, I want those animations to fly onto screen. Um, but if I click on triggers, I'm going to go on to start effect on the play of a certain bookmark, the bookmark one to start off with, and then to pull to hip, um, I'll, I'll have it play at the time of bookmark two. You'll notice um, on the video that at certain times the video pauses for a moment and then continues, which is a great way of uh, making it a bit more exciting. So what you do is click add animation to that pull to hip and click on the pause animation and it will automatically be assigned. 
you need to drag it into the start with bookmark section and then you do the same again click add animation and click play and then after two seconds the video will start playing again but it's uh, there's one thing that you need to be specific about is that when that um, video starts playing again you want it to continue playing from where it was paused otherwise it will go back to the beginning so go on effect options and go from start from last position uh, so what will happen is the video will um, the text will appear then it will pause and after two seconds it will continue playing from where it last paused so now um, you don't have to do this but I like working with one slide so another thing you can do is all of those um, items that you've added to the screen if you click and add animation to each of those things and create a disappear effect then you can make all those animations disappear before the next thing appears and um, this is just something that I like to do you don't have to you can just swipe to the next slide if you wanted to um, and just create a transition so what you can see is all of those um, texts the, the video and any other items on the on the screen I'm clicking add animation click disappear and I've actually added a third bookmark you haven't seen me do this but I'm adding a third bookmark which is right at the end of the video and that, so that at the um, end of the video everything on screen will disappear if you play around with the timings um, to make it look nice so now we're gonna play the video and see what it looks like And I've added another stroke to the video. So if this video has been useful to you, then please give it a like. Um, and also please comment below how this might be useful to you or any sort of videos that you'd like to see me make in the future. Um, here's some of the things that we've gone through today. Um, in my next video, I'm planning to uh, run through how to use audio and sound effects in PowerPoint. Um, let me know how you might like this to be used um, and if it's been useful to you maybe consider subscribing. Thanks very much and see you next time.